Hello and welcome to another video. Um, as I was showing you in my previous video about uh, installing a screen protector on a iPhone 11 Pro Max. Damn, that's a long word. So yeah, um, the screen protector is on right now. It's beautiful, as you can see. Uh, what I'm going to do today is we're going to wrap this with a uh, vinyl wrap and then we're going to put a cover on it. So uh, the whole idea is, let me show you why I'm going to do this. This is an iPhone 7, my old one. So let's clean it a bit. Yep, so it's very nice. It's got a case on it. So what I do, if you remove the case, you'll see it's got a little wrap on it right now. And what happens is that now this is going to go to another person maybe so we're going to just peel this wrap off and as you can see the phone is brand new the thing is that if you have a case on your phone then it's not exposed to your eye anyway and it's hidden behind the case um, it's a it's it's a what do you call it a, a good thought that if you have a case it's going to protect your phone yes it will protect your phone but it won't keep your phone clean because no matter what phone you get or what case you get it, there would be dust particles that would eventually go inside the case and then it would just sit there start scratching it and making marks on it by the time you remove the case after six months you think that oh, my phone is new well guess what it's not because it will just have all marks all over it and then you start cleaning it and it will just <coughs> look as a proper used phone whereas this here it's, it's just new um, and this has also got a glass screen protector on it so once I take this off it will just be mint. Uh, the, yeah the, the vinyl wrap will go right at the edges as well it can do and uh, as I said it's because it's not going to be exposed to your eye you might as well just better off having this wrap on like this is I'm just going to quickly just put this back on because I was just showing you and uh, this is going to be coming off anyway so this is an old one going to put this back in in its case so yeah so yeah let's go this is the iPhone 11 uh, just bought this arrived today interesting it's got a separate Apple logo with it as well it says before you begin read this well I already read that before this is the wrap 3M film I think it's laser cut to the, to the correct phone. I like the, I don't want the plain, so I would like the brush steel finish. So this has got a brush steel finish, really nice. It's got a nice sheen to it and it doesn't look too glossy as well, so that's quite nice. What it means, what it says on it here is that when you install this, make sure that you have the, um, uh, the hair dryer on there, so it actually gives good adhesion on the um, on the phone. Um, also, I have put on a, a little um, accessory, which is this silver piece here, made out of aluminium. This gives it a nice, nice look if you see here. Very nice. Just and it just gives that level to the lenses, which it isn't, you know, when you buy it. So. So first thing first, let's just take this wrap off and um, give it a bit of heat and then take it from there. I'm not sure how it's going to go. So just put that there. I believe that you need to... does is that it just kind of makes the glue on the wrap more sticky. Uh, I'm just going to line it with the apple actually and 
and then take it from there. And the edges might be a good idea if you line it with the camera lens as well at the same time. And the apple. This is more tricky than the other one because of the um, because of this huge lens that they put on the camera. The whole idea is that it should just go in without creases. And if you have got a crease, then obviously there's something not right. Got to take it off and put it back on. Can get a bit tricky. But it just depends. The good thing about vinyl is that you can adjust it, but by heat, basically, you could actually just sort of, you know. main part was just to make sure the back is covered to be honest I'm not too fussed about anything else the other phone I had which is the 7 um, it was high gloss so that was really sort of you know prone to getting scratched uh, this whereas it's not high gloss so Uh, quite interesting actually because the eSIM has just arrived um, and basically what we do is scan the SIM and you put it in so uh, let's see if we could uh, I haven't done this before as in on this particular phone so whatever you're seeing is just pretty much live designed I have to say I think mainly you need the heat on these edges on these on the flip bits that are sticking out because um, once the case is on you wouldn't really need need to uh, worry about the edges but personally I would actually cut these edges off because it's just I mean I know it's uh, says now is that if we put the heat on vinyl automatically starts to mold into its shape wherever it want, wherever you want it to be. Um, as I said, it's, once you have it on, it's quite nice, but just putting it on in the right way is, is basically the challenge itself. done is basically it's just sort of makes the vinyl a lot more soft and um, sort of gives it that extra bit of flexibility to 
stick and that's pretty much it it's quite amazing actually because it does give a good finish at the end of it once it's all in in its correct form of shape should I say the heat is the magic in this if you don't have a hairdryer some other source of heat because um, it might be a struggle to put anything on these fans otherwise but yeah so looks like this has been a successful install of this here we are so here we are so we've got the wrap on it right now as you can see from the edges to the edges top bottom it's fairly good because I won't be using it as it is I'm going to put a cover on it so let's put a cover on it right now so here we are right. so this after looking at a few covers I decided to go for this one here which is the uh, Spigen Spigen cover I think it is it's transparent and it's got very good reviews and it fits in well and I just don't like the one that's got the flap on it all the time like you know when you just close it and then open it all the time so when a phone call comes I have to just go all the time so I prefer the one that's just sort of exposed straight away and I think the edges might need a little bit more heat idea of all of this is to make sure that we prolong the life of the phone when it, you know when you change it or when you swap it over that it looks good so basically this is the phone case what it says here is that remove the protective film okay so let's remove the film case remove this film and also there's another film inside remove that film as well It'd be nice if they put a, if they built something to pull the film off you've got to use your nails which is like you know do I am I missing something here no there's nowhere you can see where you can actually pull this film off. So you have to just use your nails to pull it off. Hey, it's coming off now. It's like losing the end of the tape and not finding on a roll. There we go. So let's peel this off. Oh, this is nice and clear. Here it is. And all we do, we're just going to pop this on there. and in and we have a successful vinyl wrap phone <coughs> with a um, with a case on it as well this is how it looks at the end the end result I, I feel is quite nice personally but uh, yeah so the phone so we've got the screen protector on and we have a case on it now and we also have a little cover on it so yeah I mean the good thing about these cases is that it's got a little lip on the side and the screen protector I've used goes end to end as well so it's absolutely you know it looks like a, the gloss is like you know if you see how the end to end is it's just 
really glossy, really is. And here's the case. So the case I've used once again is this one here. If you can read it, I don't know. It's called the smartphone case. Something you want for iPhone 11 Max Pro. This was bought from Amazon. So yeah, it's a really nice case. I mean, this brand itself, which is this one here, it's quite popular in cases anyway. But to choose the right one, that's the part which is the most challenging. Because people buy all sorts of cases and then... Remember, the case has to do its job, which is to protect the phone. Then if it looks nice, that's a bonus. But if you get a case which looks nice and you drop it or something happens and your phone breaks, then it's just pointless because Obviously, the case is not doing its job. So, uh, yeah, so far so good. Um, the eSIM I was talking about here, which is um, I have also got, is I'll show you how it looks like. So this is an eSIM, and it looks like this, and that's it. So. Yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna probably punch this number in and see how it goes. Basically, I, I got to scan this QR code onto my phone, and then uh, and then then hopefully it'll install. But uh, all the instructions are on here. But this is what an eSIM looks like. This is my eSIM, which means that this phone takes two SIM cards, and one of them is physical SIM card, which will come out from your old phone, goes in here, and the other one is the one that's inside the chip in the phone which is this here so I'll probably want to put this inside my phone and may use another sim card if I need to um, and now why would you use two sim cards well the only time I would use two sim cards is a if I if I want to use um, maybe go abroad that would be a good idea to have another sim card uh, if your phone's unlocked of course that is or uh, if you feel that you're in a reception area where EE works or maybe Vodafone works or some other company works uh, reception works but O2 doesn't so you can easily have you know a phone which can't lose reception pretty much because it will have you know two sim cards to cover for both areas because every company has dead spots um, where they travel if you're traveling in certain areas you might not find find O2 doesn't work EE works or EE doesn't work Vodafone works but yeah I mean co coverage is quite good anyway nowadays but uh, yeah so thanks for watching any questions feel free to ask but uh, yeah I, once again I would definitely recommend having a vinyl wrap on your phone so you have double protection so far so good thanks for watching and uh, until next time bye for now